have I got to sit down? Wait, before I do anything, uh, have a look here. Da, 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 Wednesday. Fight. <laughs> Good sake. Um, what else is there? Any new characters? Oh, these all of them. Well, all the main characters, at least. Photos, episode 3, Chaos Fury. So, there should be a feather and an ant. Wait. Where am I likely to find a feather and an ant? Could I go back in there? Oh, as if I got it might have been in there. Good. <laughs> it don't matter. Don't matter one little bit. Let's speak to Joyce. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. And yeah, no, I'll try and have a word with her. Oh. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Must be nice to be suspended and have some free time off Blackwell. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I just don't know what to do. Why? Why is... Can I not just take an option to be quiet? I bloody... Either side with David. He was a bit mean to me there for a second. Why would I side with David? Nah, yeah, I gotta side with Chloe. That makes sense. I'm assuming a high percentage of people would side with Chloe. I have to... I don't know. I'm gonna go with a safe bet. In my opinion, a safe bet. Let's just say Chloe... Yeah, side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. No, I found out good information. That was good. That was good. That was good. 
Joyce? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I understand. Yes. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Well, I couldn't side with you. We weren't, you're not making it easy. Side with, I don't know. No way. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. It's time to leave. Time to leave. Leave family business to family business. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. We have to be careful. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. Is that him? Is that Frank? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. In the daylight. Jeez. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I got it. I'll be right back. I got it. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. <laughs> Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. First and foremost, let me have a look at the photos because I, I'm, I really want to get these photos. There should be a feather and an ant, so that looks like a dead bug. Um, two people making stuff. That has to be it, come on. What was that? Uh-huh. This is so creepy. Yeah. What the hell? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. Jeez, uh, there's so many of them. What the hell? What is going on here? Why are, the, why are birds dying? They're just dead on the floor. I... is this? Ugh, gross. Okay. Oh, what have I got? What have I got to do? What have I got to, got to do? Got to do? Flyers? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. That? Oh. There's a... Nice to see you, Poppy. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know you're upset, but... Your mum and I know you did everything you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of our control. That said, we are very concerned about your suspension. I'd prefer to talk in person. Maybe it's time to review your plans for the future. Your mother and I think you should come home and search for a local high school here. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been intense here, but I'm not ready to come home. Talk later. Max, whatever. <laughs> X. Oh, X. I don't know what she wrote there. Right, fisherman? Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Wait, so what happens if I rewind? So if I rewind and then talk to him Good again. Good morning. 
How are the fish? Don't ask. First the snow. Fish? I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Huh. That's why we rewind stuff. Trucker. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these Blackwell spoiled shit. But that other loser I'd see around here, Rachel. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. So if I rewind. What could I say to him instead? Hey, how's it? Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because... I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those... You know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Oh, of course. Across the road. Oh, I can. Well, this was all just sick for. <laughs> so is that part of my journal? Ah, so it was the truck. Okay, cool. That is good. That is very good. There you go. Five point five. Five point five four percent of players earn this. Nice. Optional photo number eight. How many beds are on the uh So ominous. Am I gonna photograph that? Jesus. Wait, is that the ant in the feather? Is it actually? Oh mad it is, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Six point two five percent of players get this. <laughs> Rare achievement. Is that the last photo I could get possibly? Look at that. So sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. Oh, homeless man. How's it going? Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mm, awful thing. Kate Marsh. I was with her when she jumped. I tried to save her. I swear I did. Oh, honey. That was her choice, not yours. Don't you carry that weight. I know. I'm starting to see that I can't change everything. Especially when it comes to other people. 
Kate Marsh probably felt like she had nothing no more. I know the feeling. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugged the girl who jumped. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. <laughs> no, that's good, because now... I warned her about the tornado, so she'll actually, she might live on. So that's good, that's fine. Yeah, she's not a spy, I don't, I don't believe that. What else am I looking for? Is there a back entrance? That'd be weird going in the back entrance. Yeah, she was nice. Normally people are nice when they ain't got anything. Then when they got a lot of things. I don't want to go that way. It turned out to be pretty spoiled. And so it depends. I don't know. It's difficult to judge things. Yes, another great day in Arcadia Bay. And of course, now let's get on with my objective, of course. Uh, let's talk about my photo shoot later. 10 4. Good. Open. Let's get in here. <sighs> so, um. Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Yep. Ooh. Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Yeah. Very bad. Spill. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. All right. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. You're awful. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. 
He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Right, there we go. So I got all the information I need. Now let's go to the food counter. <laughs> it's tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Comes first, right, okay. Is that stop getting distracted. Right. You. Rachel. Uh whatever the fuck. Uh oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweed bitch. Okay. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. <sighs> Holy shit. What do you want now? Um. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Holy shit, what do you want now? Say, you need to stop swearing. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You know, get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. He'll hook your ass up. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. So, I learned some information. Can I talk to the we'll cop again? We'll chat later, Max. Uh, I can't talk to him again. I should have right. said that. I'll need to rewind. Ugh, what the hell? Get me out of this loop. Ugh. Was that about the drugs? Asking for drugs. I don't know. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think I'm tired. I'm going to pause it there. And continue in the next episode for now. Good work. Good work. Bus.